Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. As I'm sure that you have read from the title, we're gonna be opening up my Ipsy Glam bag for the month of April. Now this is just the $12 a month regular old glam bag. Um, I did get some add-ons, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take those out of the bag first, and then I can show you all those items at the end of the video if y'all are interested. Taking out of the bag, here she is. I love this color. It's like this really soft kind of mauve lavender shade and the little pull ring here that says Ipsy kind of has like a wooden look and feel to it. In this bag also I can tell it's that material that would be really easy to wipe off in case you got makeup on it. So grabbing the card out. This month is Full Bloom. It says Grow your beauty skills. And um, there's actually no information inside of this of this card to say what I have um, or prices or anything like that. So that's interesting. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna pull out is this, and this is from Seraphine Botanicals. This is the Berry Juice 100% Vegan Lip Gel. And this is in the shade, I don't see a shade color on here but so let's see what's on the bottom oh that is really pretty this is in the shade rose current okay so that's what it's looking like there and it has some really pretty kind of shimmer running through it it has like a faint juice smell but there is that right there that lip oil I'm gonna actually just go ahead and put some on I just have lip liner on right now hmm it feels really, really good. Very hydrating, very moisturizing. Okay, it has like a slight fruity taste to it, but it feels really, really good. So that is the first thing. Next up, I have this, and this is from Nomad Cosmetics, and this is a single eyeshadow in the shade Toscana. And I'm actually obsessed with my Manly Beach Sydney Bathers um, bronzer that I got in a couple months back, so. This is what it looks like, just a little itty bitty baby. And here is the shade. And it's just like a neutral kind of crease shade. Let's see, it feels nice and smooth. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that swatch that well, but it's just right here. This will be a good like everyday transition crease shade. So like that, I, and like I said, I do actually really enjoy Nomad Cosmetics. Okay, moving along, the next thing is this, and this is the Aricelli, Aricelli um, pencil liner, and this does appear to be a full size, and this is in black. It looks like a very creamy gel-like pencil, so let's see. Ooh, yeah, that is very smooth, very creamy. So, I don't know, I, I will have to put this to the test and try it out and see. I'm gonna let that set for a moment and see if it like kind of dries down. Okay, and next is the Estate Do Me Baked Highlighter Powder. I feel like I get a highlighter in every bag, but to no fault to Ipsy because I always say, yes, send me more highlighters. This is really pretty though. It's like a golden champagne tone. And this is in the shade Do Me. Let's see. They're mowing outside, so I really apologize if you can hear that. But there's the color right there. It's really, really pretty. And it's a baked highlighter, so it's not gonna be like the bam in your face, but it's definitely something that you could buff into the skin and probably get a really nice effect with. And then the very last thing, this was my choice item. So this is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich. I've never tried anything from Glossier before, and I was just so tempted. Couldn't help myself, so let's see. Mm. It doesn't have much of a smell. It has like a very slight kind of smell. You know, it's nothing too overpowering, and it is thick. It is very, very thick, if you can see there. Let's see, I'm just gonna moisturize a little bit of my hand. Feels really nice. It's very, it's very hydrating, I can tell. It's very, very hydrating. It's, um, I don't know, I think it's a pretty good introductory product into the line, and if I like it, I can kind of explore other things. So that is it for the bag. Again, here's a look at the bag, and then it has the little Ipsy logo there. 
Okay, so I loved my bag. I loved everything that I got. I thought it was a great bag. Really quickly, I'm just gonna go over some of the add-ons that I got. I got the Verb Ghost Hair Mask um, Moisturizer. This is the Weightless Soften and Restore Deep Condition. I can always use some deep hydration. This is sealed, but I've heard nothing but great products about, um, I have nothing but good things about Verb, especially their Ghost line. Um, I did also grab the Yinsa Tone Up Primer Essential Glow, and I had gotten a, um, a BB cream from Yinsa in last month's um, bag, and I love it. So I just wanted to try the primer. There it is. And let's see. There's like a slight radiance to it. It's nothing that's gonna be crazy, which is perfectly fine. I just love a good primer, so I couldn't pass that up. I also got the Koki Cosmetics Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. I love my concealers. This is in the shade Light. Um, and then there's the Doe Fit Applicator. So this could be something that I could use. I don't know, actually, that would probably be perfect. It would also kind of brighten, so I really like that. It looks like there's gonna be some pretty good coverage to it. It's like a nice satin finish. Cool. All right, I also got another brush, and this is from the same brand as the liner, the Aricelli. And this is kind of like a fluffy kind of blending brush, again, for the crease under the eyes. You could use these for so many different things. Okay, and then the very last thing, I got the Youth to the People. This is the Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. And I've, again, I've never tried anything from Youth to the People, so I was pretty interested in that. And so there you go, that's what it looks like. It's just like this yellow color. And there you go. Has like a very, very slight, just kind of your standard skincare scent. I wouldn't say that there's any added fragrance or anything like that, it doesn't seem to be. Okay, so let's go back over um, all the items that I got in my actual bag. So, of course, we have our cute little bag here with the Ipsy Pull tab. I love it. And we have our Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich, the Estate Baked Highlighter in Do Me, the Seraphine Botanicals Lip well, Berry Plus Juice 100% Vegan Lip Oil. That feels amazing. We got the Aricelli Black Liner. Let's see. And that did dry down pretty well. I mean, it's not really moving or anything and there's no transfer. So, all right, I'm impressed. And then last but not least, we got the Nomad Cosmetics Single Eyeshadow in the shade Cantucci, right there. All in all, I think that this month was an excellent bag. I just think that Ipsy is stepping up their game so much. I'm so tempted to get the Glam Bag Plus, which is a $25 a month bag. So I don't know, I might be getting that. I don't know, we'll have to see. Anyway, thanks so much guys for watching. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy and well. Please don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Just hit that subscribe button and your notifications. And until next time, bye.